I use not to wear any of these really cute dainty summer tops because I just literally didn't know what bras to wear with them but after today's video I will help you resolve this biggest summer wardrobe issue which is what bras to wear under what kinds of tops. Starting off with the foundation, the basic bra that every single girl should have in their wardrobe. And no, that is not an underwire bra. This is an everyday bra that is going to make you feel like you are not even wearing a bra, but it gives you all of the support that you need. And I'm talking about these seamless bras. I have three here from the brand Nay Why. I talked about this in my recent Nordstrom anniversary sale alternatives video, but these are actually one size fits most. So they are extremely stretchy. There is removable padding depending on how much of a cushion you want, but they actually feel like you are are not wearing a bra. Sometimes I just wear them as lounge tops at home. It looks really nice on the body. It feels extremely soft and comfortable. The only con is in the summertime, if you sweat a lot, it could feel a little bit just too thick because there is quite a lot of material here, but they also have really thin strap versions, just different types of seamless bras. You don't have to go for this particular brand. If you have some sort of really flowy, silky top, instead of wearing an underwire bra, which this is one of my faves that I will talk about later, but this one actually doesn't really go very well under these really lightweight tops because you can kind of see the underwire and it's just not a really seamless look. But if you wear a seamless bra, because of course it's seamless, it just flows really well on your body and it will just give you a barely there effect. Out of all of these strapless bras I've tried over the years, including all of the popular Victoria's Secret ones, to be honest, Victoria's Secret is just something that I will no longer purchase just because their bras tend to have much bigger cups and I just don't really like the gaping effect but I found this one which is from the brand Notori. Nordstrom carries them, a few other department stores carry them. This is the best and most comfortable and long-lasting strapless bra. Yes, it is a little bit on the pricier side, but you can usually get it on sale during the sale season. And they also actually come with the straps, which I have lost because I have only worn this as a strapless bra. The benefit of something like this is it does have underwire. So if you have an outfit that does require the structure and sort of the lifting effect. For example, for jumpsuits like this that are actually strapless and I think it just needs a little bit of a volume around the chest area and this is where these types of strapless bras come in very handy. This guy does not slide down at all. It is stretchy enough to make you comfortable but because of these corset-ish wires, it actually will hold the structure really well. And I just feel like for more flatter chested people like I am, Notori is a really really great brand. If you have have a top like this that is more sheer. No matter what kind of strapless bra you wear underneath, it will show more or less. And this is where these silicone bra stick or stick on bras come in really, really handy. So this guy, as you see, it is completely backless, strapless. It is just basically two pieces of silicone with a little hook in the middle. They are reusable, you can wash them, but the little bits of hair and dirt does stick onto them and over time, I think you just need to replace them once in a while. The other downside of these is in the summertime, especially if you sweat, they will just feel very unbreathable. Not the best, most breathable material, but if let's say you are going on a nice dinner during a summer night when it's not super hot outside, or if you just need something like this in the colder month, then it is actually just really handy. This next one is actually a bralette, but the key here 
is you want to make sure that the straps in the back sort of go in or merge in the middle and these types of bralettes first of all they're so so comfortable you can kind of wear them on its own if you really want to but they are also perfect for these sort of halter neck tops where it cuts out pretty much into your shoulder so if you wear like a normal strapped bra it will definitely show your bra strap but surprisingly something like this does not show underneath a halter neck top and this is something that i just found out recently i don't know if this is something that everybody knows but i was pretty surprised and now i'm convinced that that you should have something like this if you do love the style of halter neck tops next up is what i call decorative bras or bralettes so i have this free people one which looks kind of cute on its own it's great for a vacation night dinner but you can also actually layer this underneath some sort of sheer top just to show the silhouette and the color and the pattern of these really pretty bralettes now i personally don't think these are a wardrobe must-have even though they look really nice sort of hung up and when you try it on you could feel really pretty but really ask yourself if you are not someone who wears bralettes as tops or someone who loves to show bralettes underneath like a sheer top then this might not be the one for you however a more universally flattering type of decorative bra is this bandeau style bra so this is just a really simple stretchy black bandeau top that has sort of padding inside so it does help give you some support and a little bit of a boost and this is great as a layering piece i talked about this in my how to elevate basic outfits video where you can really easily pair a blazer over and just show the bandeau part that is really really trendy but also this is just something classic that you can very easily pack up for any sort of tropical vacation and this will be um, almost serving as a bra but also as a cute little top if you wear any sort of deep v backless or even just weird bag strapped types of tops and dresses then pretty much none of the strapless bras or the um halter neck bras or even some of those bigger stick-on bras would fit in these type of pieces and the only thing that would work would be just nipple covers and you can find these anywhere in the drugstore on amazon there are cheaper versions more expensive versions in my opinion because again this is made of silicon and it will attract sort of dust and it will wear out over time so i personally just purchased the cheap drugstore or amazon version and it's actually been holding up pretty well over the years the only thing to pay attention to is just to find the shade that matches best with your skin and this is something that i always keep in my travel bag because no matter what types of outfits i'm wearing this could always always work because i mean it gives you the tiniest coverage but it is some sort of coverage next one is a hack that i recently learned specifically about bodysuits and these zara bodysuits or some of the other bodysuits also have the same feature which is sort of a double lining in the front so let me see if i can show you but see here this flap here is actually just an additional lining in the front with the original intent to sort of give you a little bit more of coverage but i still find that this will show the shape if you don't wear something underneath and in the past i have been using those stick on bras that i talked about earlier but recently this is such a genius idea that i just learned is once you put this on basically you take some sort of bra padding this one for example i just took out from this uh, bandeau bra you don't have to have this one whole piece it could be two pieces whatever and what you do is you actually just insert this bra padding 
in between the two layers of these Zara bodysuits. So I hope that I can kind of show you on camera, but see how this is essentially turning your otherwise just plain bodysuit into a built-in bra bodysuit, which also means that nothing is going to come out on the side because even when I was wearing those stick-on bras and then wearing these Zara bodysuit, you can still kind of see the side of it because these bodysuits are actually cutting quite a lot. And with this hack, nothing will be coming out from the side and you will be fully covered. And because of the double lining, it will not fall off. It is just so secure and it literally molds into the bodysuit. I really hope that if you've learned anything from today's video, I think this is the biggest trick that you could learn. You don't have to buy any sort of special bra. If you have a bra with these paddings, just take them out and stick them underneath the bodysuits with double lining. Lastly, this is something that I never even imagined I would do in the past because I just never thought that this would be possible. But now that I discovered that it is completely feasible, I could not live without it. And that is just go braless. I don't know if you can tell, but this top and this whole time I'm filming this video, I'm actually not wearing a bra. And it's not that easy to tell because I intentionally chose tops that are, first of all, double lined. The material has a little bit of sheen, so it actually reflects light and it doesn't really show through any of the skin or color underneath. And because of the way of the cut, you really just can't tell if I'm wearing a bra or not. And this is something that I started paying attention to when I'm shopping for summer pieces. So for example, a similar top like this that is also sort of double lined in the front and it actually has ruching detail which is really helpful in sort of disguising the chest area. So this is something that you also don't need to wear a bra with and this is great because especially during those really really hot summer days, the last thing I want is to add another layer underneath my cute summer tops to just create more sweat. So I am more than happy to go braless to the extent possible. Besides a shinier material, a ruched material, or double lining, you can also look into pieces that has a little bit of flap in the front or a tiered effect in the front. Basically look for something that is a little bit more covered and just busier or extra material in the front that is going to be perfect candidate for a braless option. If you found this video helpful, consider sharing this with a friend and let me know in the comment down below which one is your favorite hack from today's video and I will see you in one of these ones. Bye!